What's up, guys? You guys uh, all got artilleries, but I'm hoping that this one's a little bit different. I bought, uh, or I got this machine from artillery uh, as a return, refurb, whatever you want to call it. It was basically a return, and it was in horrible shape. These, there was just some parts missing. It wasn't in great shape. It didn't come with the tool bag and all that stuff. But it's got the uh, Duet 2 Wi-Fi on here, um, running RepRap firmware. It's got a TH3D 50 millimeter by 15 fan. Um, it does have an easy APL hooked up. Um, I just broke the sensor, uh, nothing to do with the printer or TH3D, I messed it up. But it was running through those pins, the uh, LED pins. Uh, what else? A Bontech. It's got a mosquito. You can see uh, where I'm pointing. This was to uh, keep the factory and inductive sensors uh, for the in-stops, which is, it sounds easy, it's not easy. Um, these are 5 volt and Duet uses 3.3 volt, so I had to do some creative wiring to make these sensors work properly. Um, and to avoid hitting the fan, um, I made this little piece back here with the nut on it that triggers it. It's been working fine, so no big deal. Uh, Z in stop had to come up a little bit. Um, the Y is the same, but uh, yeah, Bond Tech, Mosquito, Custom Fan, ABL cooling fan um, and duet folder and uh, filament run out some plumb couplers in the back there instead of the spring ones yeah really just got a printing uh, decent today I had some struggles uh, figuring the duet firmware out um, to make it work properly with the uh, machine and all the components but uh, my first time really configuring duet completely from scratch so uh, i do run duet on uh, this big ass machine here my artemis but that came like that i didn't do that so um i've done some modifications this printer also uh bontex uh, mosquitoes so pretty much all my machines uh even my presa uh, Bontech and Mosquito, so all, all of them, all both Prusas, the Artillery uh, and the Artemis all have Bontech and Mosquitoes, big big fan of those guys, so um, I am going to flip the case over um, and show you the internals and show you some of the wiring I had to figure out, what hooked to what, etc. Um, it was a little tricky, but uh, finally got it all figured out, so there you go. Yay, Mosquito. Thanks, Slice Engineering, for everything. Appreciate it. So here is uh, the process of pulling the board out. Just a few pictures here. This was uh, mostly the old board that was in there, the MKS board, and I hated it. So it swiftly went in the garbage can. Here's the Duet mounted on a custom bracket. Here is the panel do mounted. This is the wiring for it and the back mounting through the case. And this was kind of it when it was all said and done. Here's the first vase print. Uh, it turned out really well. And uh, just some more wiring and tidying up there with the Easy ABL. Let's just talk here for a second about this project. My plan was to take a solid printer, well known, and to basically convert it to the best of everything. And I think for the most part, I've achieved that. However, there's still a lot to do. It's still not printing perfectly. And I still have some components that need to be replaced. But overall, this printer cost me total about $780. That would be the retail value of replacing all the parts and doing it yourself. Was it worth it? 
a 300 by 300 by 400 Cartesian printer. I would say for the price point of a Prusa, it's a pretty good deal overall. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. I'd like to thank Slice Engineering for all their help, Artillery 3D for providing the printer, and everybody else that contributed on the forums and helped me work through my plethora of issues, especially do it 3D. And uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I'll see you on Twitter.